What do Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, and Connor McDavid all have in common? Is it that they've played for the Oilers? Well, yes, but that isn't what we're here to talk about. Is it that they've all played as centers? Again, yes, but also no. We're here to talk about how these three, along with so many other NHL players, were born in January. Looking at NHL players' birthdays by month, January stands out as the clear winner, with March and February trailing. When you split the year into quarters, it becomes even more obvious. 29.7% of players drafted into the NHL were born in January, February, or March, while only 20.5% of drafted players have October, November, or December birthdays. When compared with birthdays of the general US population, things get even stranger. The third quarter has the most birthdays, with a peak in August. And if we look at the NBA and the NFL, the same pattern emerges. Players born earlier in the year have higher odds of being drafted. This may seem like a strange coincidence, but it's actually a well-known phenomenon called the relative age effect. It happens because students and athletes are grouped based on birth year, with the cutoff being January 1st, the start of every new year. A person born in January will be almost one whole year older than somebody born in December. It might not seem like a big difference, but as a young child, the age gap is quite significant. In the case of hockey, a child born in January will be taller, stronger, and more mature than children born later in the year. Because they're taller and stronger, they have higher odds to be placed on the highest level team. The top players play with other top players, get the most time on the ice, play in the most tournaments, and get the best coaches. It creates a positive feedback loop where the players who were in initially put in the best group due to their age, continue to improve because of their environment. In theory, the age gap should matter less and less as the children grow older, but that isn't the case. The effects influence is still strong later in life. In fact, it even impacts grades in school. A UK study shows students born earlier in the year outperform their peers in standardized tests even at age 16, and it impacts higher education participation at ages 19 and 20. So instead of blaming your own shortcomings for not being an NHL player or getting into Harvard, blame your parents for not giving birth to you in January. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing.